all, this is a quick little tutorial of Hemingway Editor. Um, I emphasize this because it has a few nice features, and I'm, I'm actually making this video to emphasize the idea of readability. Um, as that first video kind of suggested, there's this thing called the plain language movement. Um, one of Obama's initiatives for more government transparent transparency was to um, create um, some plain language guidelines for all government writing. And um, this has been a feature of technical writing, especially for a long time. Um, and you'll actually see that most of these guidelines, if you've ever flipped through a technical writing book, will sound nearly identical. Um, and here's that act, the Plain Writing Act. Um, it's very audience-centered, very purpose-centered. So one of the things that um, technical writers advocate is kind of plain language and the readability of text. And for a long time now, readability has um, almost been like a quantitative measurement, um, which may be weird to think about in terms of style, but readability is also, is often um, associated with grade levels. And so, let's see. There are different formulas um, associated with readability, but it always comes down to basically length of sentence, um, variation in vocabulary, and this is the this is the most commonly used the flesh score. So um, and it's used it's correlated to grade level through a grade level formula. And so what they do is um, they take the average sentence length, which is the number of words divided by the number of sentences, um, and they take the average word length in syllables, and the score equals this number um, minus average sentence length minus syllable length. And so that's kind of the math behind this calculator. And so I'll just, for the sake of showing you something, um, I'll plug in some academic writing. Um, this is something I have been working on, though not recently. I'm looking forward to getting back to it. And I mean, compared to some critical theory, I don't think my writing is um, particularly dense, but you'll see it usually registers on a readability score as being postgraduate, which makes sense because that's often who I'm writing to. Um, so I'm just going to clip this. Actually, I'm going to clip this much. And I'm going to put it in here. Okay. <clears throat> so you'll see up here, um, there's some rich text stuff. So if I wanted to create a title, and it's really a composing space, I can attach it with H1. If I want to do a heading, that'd be H2. If I want to do a subheading, that would be H3. And then there are things like um, if something's a block quote, we can hit block quote, and it turns into a block quote. So it's a little bit like a blog, actually. Um, but the readability part, like a blog in the sense that it's like a blog composing space. So three out of my four sentences are very hard to read. One of them is hard to read. Uh, one, I'm using passive voice, and then there are two adverbs. Typically, adverbs are the first thing someone cuts, and yeah, I thought postgraduate, poor readability scale. Um, and so you'll see, I'll just go ahead and edit one of these super, 
the very hard sentences. Um, let's see. So in the current moment, moment, attention is a commodity that only seems to increase in value. Period. Writers who can produce and distribute a variety of texts are vital. Actually, kind of like that. Are, are vital. Period. They are especially vital now. visible to its anticipated audience and findable still very hard um, Messages must be visible to their anticipated audiences and findable by yet unknown audiences. So um, I'm still at postgrad. I'm going to delete this and see what my score is now. So I went from postgrad to grade 11, and as it says, aim for ninth grade. So. I would encourage you use this platform, um, especially in any professional technical writing classes, but uh, for this project in particular. So that's just a quick how-to to kind of familiarize um, y'all with this particular writing tool.